think curiosity is the point of education because it offers hope. It allows students to be really brave and staying with problems and they're able to ask really interesting questions if they're able to stay in that kind of uncomfortable space of not knowing exactly what the outcome is going to be. STEM teaches you the fundamental abilities of the design thinking process. It gets you to use your imagination and you can take like two random things like a toothbrush and a cup holder and combine it together. STEM is an opportunity. You get to put your skills to work and it's more about doing things and having these skills in your skill set rather than just committing it to memory. STEM is a way of staying curious and it's about a design thinking process and researching what we need to know more about and asking really interesting questions and coming up with really innovative solutions to the problems that surround us. The STEM program is different from any other school because of the way we learn things. Most classes in normal high schools are just sit in the desk, you do work, and then that's it. But in STEM, what you do is you explore a topic and you've learned the skills to do it and you explore it by putting your own ideals into the topic by itself. In the STEM program, our students get the opportunity to access every corner of the building, whether they are working on a project in the greenhouse or doing something in the pottery lab. There is an opportunity for our STEM students to work in and get the expertise of all the people in all the awesome, unique spaces we have in our building. And students arrive with passions and we equip them with the tools to amplify those. For instance, if a student loves music, they can start diving into how music's made. How does the physics of a sound wave affect the other things around it? One big area that I'm passionate about is music, and STEM has allowed me to basically dig deeper into this concept by building an acoustic levitator, which basically utilizes transducers and ultrasonic sound to float objects. And when we can build the confidence in a student that what they care about matters, then it starts to matter what they care about. So one of the questions I think we get is, well, what about the diploma? Uh, will our students be prepared to do the tasks they need to do at the end of high school? Uh, and my answer to that is absolutely. The STEM model offers things that the traditional model doesn't offer in that it engages multiple modalities. It engages multiple parts of the brain. So instead of just listening to a lecture, students are using their hands. They're using their brain. They are applying things creatively. And we know from research that the more parts of the brain that are involved in learning, the more likely they are to make an imprint and the more likely students are to recall them in the future. What's surprising to me about the STEM program is how the design thinking process and the skill sets that we're, we're building here diffuse out into the rest of the building and the ideas cross-pollinate. The culture at Wagner is one of diversity, of connection, of celebration. And what STEM has done is enhance that culture so students are embedded that STEM process and design thinking principles into everything they do here. For example, a school-wide event like our talent show, you get the opportunity to bring in technical expertise of students in the building, but also this empathy of the design thinking process to really enhance that activity and take it to the next level. And having our STEM students in the building has enabled that culture to spill out into all aspects, but also enabled that culture to embed itself in STEM. Um, my biggest takeaway from STEM is definitely the confidence. Before I started STEM, I was definitely a lot more of a perfectionist and I was like really focused on like all the small details of stuff. It's really changed the way I look at things because now instead of like judging myself so harshly, I can celebrate more like what I've made and like all the things I've done that are really cool, even if they're not perfect. So in STEM, we welcome failure because it's in that failure, it's in that process of trial and error that we make the best discoveries. And when we focus on the process for students rather than 
than just the end result. Our students are able to have the freedom to be so much more creative. As soon as it's the final piece that matters, students freeze up and they play it safe. And in STEM, we don't want to play it safe. We want to think big and we want innovation. I believe that being graded on your process is better because it shows all of the hardships and everything that you've gotten over and everything that you've looked at and all of your research rather than just like a little box. As an educator, I would love to see education move in this direction because it creates more confidence and courage in students. STEM has empowered me and made me feel like I am able to become a part of the problem solving process and that I'm able to make a change. You know what excites me about this program is that it's not rinse and repeat. There is an opportunity for us to create and then recreate and then recreate even further. Things really are designed based on what the students want and what they are interested in rather than predetermined plans made by teachers or staff. Student voice makes up a significant part of the direction that we take STEM. We are able to incorporate that feedback and make real-time changes in this program. So what really excites me about next year's program is that we don't necessarily know what it looks like. We have a whole new crop of grade 9 students coming in that will shape and direct how that program is going to look. I think the most exciting thing about this program is that it will serve as a model for all programs moving forward eventually. This is what education I think can be and should be.